John Salisbury here for Open Sports. Please excuse me, but uh, I'm a little bit under the weather. But it's Heisman talk. Heisman Trophy will be announced on Saturday, which is tomorrow. Um, I'm choosing to talk about Colt McCoy today. I don't believe Colt McCoy is going to win it. I believe it's going to end up fifth Michael Crabtree, fourth Graham Harrell, third Colt McCoy, second Tim Tebow, and first Sam Bradford. Now, Tim Tebow, there's a special favoritism for him, and he's earned it. He's the best football player playing quarterback that I've seen in quite some time, and what a Great late run he had and a spectacular talent, but and the value to his team, Tebow, obviously, is huge, but Sam Bradford's just as valuable to his team, and my guy that I'm talking about today, Colt McCoy, is just as valuable to his. If I had a Heisman vote, Colt McCoy would finish third in my balloting also, but that being said, comes back another year, next year could be his year. But here's why you can make a case for Colt McCoy. Make a case for him because with his arms and his arm and his legs, and that's saying something when you got Tim Tebow in the same class. That he's been the best quarterback in the country with both, using his, his feet and his arm to win football games. And that's saying something because Tebow does that every week. But you look at the numbers. When you're at the top of rushing for your team at the University of Texas and you're putting up all those gaudy numbers throwing the ball, you've had a special season. And Colt McCoy's had that. And the most impressive thing to me is last year had an average year. Came back this year and people where there was controversy, a little bit of surrounding Texas will – was there a chance that we'll use two quarterbacks? I can remember that being mentioned uh, during the summertime and before the season started. And Colt McCoy squelched that right off the bat. He warded off all those demons or whatever it is that quarterbacks face, insecurities, and went out there and had a spectacular season. If Colt McCoy were to win this award tomorrow, at the Heisman Trophy Award, nobody could really complain. How could you? A one-loss team could have been playing in the Big 12 championship, but the way the system set up didn't. There's a national championship-type team and there could be playing in that game too. So you could have no argument if Colt McCoy wins. You just can't. I don't believe he's going to, just like you no argument if Tim wins and no argument if Sam Bradford wins, who I think is going to win. And I wrote my blog and told you the reasons why. But Colt McCoy has, has really done a lot, and the man's been humble, and the kid's taken care of his business, and, he had, and he's been a great for his team. And we look at value to teams, and that's a great thing to me about the Heisman Trophy, the most outstanding player but also come along with that. Where would these teams be without their quarterbacks? And you could put Colt McCoy in the same class as Bradford and Tebow as far as their value to a team. So spectacular year for Colt McCoy. I think he's going to finish third in the Heisman Trophy. That's where I had him in my five. But I also know that anybody that thinks that this guy didn't have enough season to win it wasn't watching football. And it's unfortunate that a couple of these guys, and Colt McCoy included, chose to have some spectacular season like this but they also have a couple guys in front of them or around them that are having spectacular seasons as well. So congratulations to Colt McCoy. Just to be in New York City is huge, but more importantly, this will be a day you'll never forget. And maybe, as he said, he's staying in school and going to come back and compete again next year. Maybe next year will be his year. Nothing to be ashamed of being one of the finalists that gets invited to the Heisman Trophy final, uh, banquet. It's pretty impressive. So there it is. Colt McCoy, I believe, finishes third but would have no problem with him finishing first with the way he played this year. I'm Sean Salisbury for Open Sports. So you think you can tackle a pro? There's only one way to find out. Click on fantasy at opensports.com.